Here's a little factoid that you may not have already known. Dating back as far as the Civil War, 55 servicemen and women from the town of Kingston have given their lives on the field of battle. To honor them, the girls from Girl Scout Troop 80234 planted what they're calling a sea of flags on the front lawn of the town hall. TCN brings you this very touching story. We're setting up a sea of flags for fallen veterans from Kingston and we're going to honor it during the Memorial Day Parade. The ground, it literally feels like solid rock and so we have to use like screwdrivers and hammers to try to like pound the, oh, what? Oh, sorry, we have to try to pound the um, American flags into the ground. And then Rachel, can you hear that? We have 55 flags that are going in the ground. 27 of them are for men who fought in the Civil War, which is amazing, from the town of Kingston. And the girls have felt maybe some of what it's like to be in battle, trying to get these flags into the ground here. They're definitely putting their muscle into it. So there's 54 men and one woman who have fallen protecting our country. Those sheets have the names of the veterans and what wars they have died in. I like the project a lot because it remembers me of my grandfather. He was a veteran too, and so I feel like by doing this, I'm also respecting him and all of his friends that have fallen in the war. Last year, I was approached by Elaine Fiore, who's the chair of our selectmen, and Priscilla Brackett, who is the Veteran Affairs Coordinator, and asked if the Girl Scouts might be interested in doing this project for the town. Our girls are very involved in community service projects. They think about our soldiers all the time. We've given in our Girl Scout career over 3,200 boxes of cookies have gone overseas to soldiers. So they asked if we might want to participate in this, and the girls said absolutely. We hope that when people pass by this, they're going to see all of those flags and think of the veterans, current ones, ones that have gone. They're going to stop, pick up the list of names and look them over and give them a thank you. Uh, we want people who drive by to take away from this, um, remembering the veterans who gave their lives to help uh, give us freedoms in our little town of Kingston. So 